Hey guys, Eric here. Today I'm going to show you how to get probably the easiest weapon to obtain in the Frozen Path. This is in uh, the DLC 4 for Call of Duty World War 2. This weapon is pretty powerful. It's not too hard to get. Like the steps themselves aren't too complicated. So I'll, I'll just show you how to do it. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up the blood doors, like the fast travel points. So just go around unlocking doors. Also hit this. That button right there, this is in the passage. You need to hit that in order to find the lost in blood areas. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go through these. And start unlocking the Pack-A-Punch. Which you get by going through three different ones with that active with the button pressed. It's very easy to get in this stage. So it's good to just go ahead and try to get it as soon as possible. It'll make completing these objectives to unlock the scythe a lot easier. So let's just go through another one. Getting the PPSH is also a really good idea. It's, I find it really helps a lot for getting money just because of its high ammo count. So you get a lot more points for killing zombies generally if you use it. See, it's partially out. It's not completely out. Now I'll just skip ahead. Alright, there it is. Getting that is very useful. Because we have to survive some enemy zombie waves to deal with uh, getting the scythe. So getting it and getting it early is good. Now, it's not necessary. I think you could probably, if it were you, get the scythe in like the very early rounds. Because it's available in the phylactery, the first part of it. And it's not hard to get. Getting a jack-in-the-box is also super useful. If you're playing solo, then they seem to come like almost 1 and 2 or 1 and 3. They're very common. There's the PPSH. It's in the Blood Altar. Okay, we're back in the Phylactery. So let's do it. You need to do to do it is press that button in here. That activates the Ancient Forge. And then you have to survive kind of like a round trapped in here with all these zombies. If you got upgraded weapon and the Jack in the Box, then it shouldn't be too much trouble. Thankfully, you do have some move, some uh, room to move around in here. It's not a complete death trap. But it can still be dangerous, so... If you're coming in kind of a later round, then it's good to be prepared. Alright, that did it. Do all that, and I can shoot the Thulean Scythe. This thing is a pretty good close range weapon. But it's not great, so let's see if we can upgrade it. But as you can see, there's very little like difficulty in actually getting this singular weapon. Here, I'll show it off a little bit. See? It's pretty strong. <laughs> but let's upgrade it. So the first thing we want to get is... This. Spine. You equip the... Scythe, and you attack one of these weird Thulean zombies. Not sure what exactly they're called, but that's what I'm going to call them. Next thing you want to get is a wire. This is back at the crash site. Look over by the shotgun wall by. It's across from that. Just be tapping the button when you get over there because it's really hard to notice. So when you get all that stuff, yep, use this thing. This is this weird, big weird altar in front of this blood cauldron, I guess. Yeah, attach that. There we go. So to prepare the forge, we need to kill zombies. As usual, right? So I'll skip ahead a little bit. Thankfully, we can run off the edges here. So just standing here, attack what comes up. If you get overwhelmed, then just jump down. We have to kill a fair amount of zombies to get this to work. Alright. There it is. It's finished. But we have to wait for it to cool. So we gotta wait for two rounds to pass before we can actually pick it up. So let's just goof off. Alright, round 14 over. Round 15 over. Okay, now we can pick it up. But it's still not upgraded. It still doesn't do anything. 
So there's one last thing we have to do to get, actually upgrade this weapon. We need to go back through the corridor of blood. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. We have to go back to the last in blood area. But this time it's different. Now it's called the Trial of the Death Raven. And we have the upgraded scythe and we just need to go nuts with it. Kill all these enemies. These trials basically explain to you what the weapon does. So this one's special ability is that it can save you from being on the brink of death if it's charged up. See, as you can see, I lost my charge. But you gain charge from killing the empowered zombies. You know those ones like the weird Thulean ones that run around and steal energy from enemies? If you use that to kill them when they're fully charged up, then you recharge your scythe and you can get saved from death again. There we go, yeah. And that's how you get it. Yeah, see, compared to some uh, strategies to getting some of the other weapons and some of the other maps, this is pretty easy. There's one. He wasn't fully charged up, though, so he didn't get charged. charge. Yeah, but that's it. That's how you get the Thulean Scythe and the Fang of... Uh, <laughs> how do you pronounce this thing? The Fang of On Heist. Alright. Well, there it is, guys. If you found this video helpful at all, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, have a good night.